an important problem of group theory relating to cyclic group and this is from your previous year question paper and the problem is let g be a finite group of order 35 and g has two normal subgroups order 5 and order 7 then show that the group is cyclic to prove the group g is cyclic there are so many method to prove its cyclic group out of them one popular method is we have to show that there exists an element a belongs to g such that such that order of a this is equal to order of g then that is we have to show order of a this is equal to 35 okay that is there exists an element of order 35 then we say that the group is cyclic okay it is given that two normal subgroup of order 5 and order 7 let h be a cyclic subgroup of order 5 and also k be a normal subgroup of order 7 this is a normal subgroup of order 5 this is a normal subgroup of order 7 let h belongs to h and k belongs to k are two elements and by Lagrange theorem, we know that order of any element divides the order of the group. Okay. So, order of H must be divide order of H. This is equal to 5. And similarly, order of K, this is divide order of K, that is 7. So, we say that order of H, this is equal to 1 or 5. And order of K, this is equal to 1 or 7 and from this relation it is clear that there is only element common to both the normal subgroups which is identity element because there, there is no other element common to both the normal subgroup because the order is not same other than 1 or 1 ok so we can write h intersection k this is equal to e where E be the identity element of the group. Now, to prove this problem or to solve this problem, we use two result or two important result of group theory. The first result is let A and B are two normal subgroup of the group G such that A intersection B, this is equal to E. We already proved this result here. E being the identity element of G, then AB this is equal to BA for all A belongs to A and for all B belongs to B. Okay. So for, from the first result we write that since here H and G sorry H and K are two normal subgroups and only common element is identity. So HK this is equal to KH. KH. Okay, for all H belongs to H and for all K belongs to K here. We prove this relation. Okay, and the second relation we use here, if AB belongs to G, any two element of a group and AB this is equal to BA, which are coming out. And if GCB of order of A and order of B this is equal to 1, then there must exist an element C this is equal to AB such that order of C this is equal to order of A into order of B. Okay. Now using this result we easily prove that since this is proved already HK this is equal to KH and now H belongs to H and if H is not equal to E then order of H must be equal to 5. Okay. And similarly, if K not equal to E, then order of K must be equal to 7. So, we can write GCD of order of H comma order of K order of K this is equal to 1. Okay. This relation hold here. And also we prove already HK this is equal to KH. This is the first relation for this condition. 
so they are like this c or they are like this yes c is h into k okay and here we take h belongs to g and k belongs to g because because h belongs to h is a subset of g and k belongs to k is also a subset of g so we can take h and k are both the element of g okay so c this is equal to h k belongs to g and order of c this is equal to order of h into order of k right order of k so this is 5 into 7 this is 35 so we get an element c whose order is the order of the group order of g so we say that g is cyclic also we write g this is equal to cyclic group generated by c we know that the element whose order is same as the order of the group then this element is the generator of this cyclic group okay so we write this result also okay so g is cyclic group thank you thank you for watching